by the way, Ulf texted me that he was really tired before when he texted me. So hopefully this will put some pep into his step. What doesn't kill him make him stronger or kill him. In today's episode, how do you do into Wobbles and well, Welcome to Stories of My Life. Today, I'm not going to say that I'm not having any plan. I will always try to have a plan. So I will now tell you about the plan. The plan is to go over to my vegan account and make vegan meatballs from scratch. That's the plan. I'm not going to do it right now, but I'm going to tell you later. Anyway. By the way, I'm dead pleased. I have this... I went on a trip to London in 2000, December 2018, and I sort of, well, I had a great time and not a great time because I got stuck there. But now, finally, I edited the last, I edited and uploaded the last video. And I'm so pleased I can sort of just throw all the clips away. I'm saving the last one, though. I mean, I'm saving the sort of, the finished product. I upload that to IDTV and to YouTube and um, then I save it as well because you never know. Is this hoarding? I finally realised what this sort of episode will be called. Hello, Don. So right now I'm steaming, steaming potatoes for uh, mashed potatoes because that is what I'm going to need later on. And I'm also trying to gather all I need for making these. So I've done something French. It's called mise en place. And that means put in place. So I'm set to start cooking. So people, go to this address if you want to see me cook. It's so fascinating and really invigorating. In other words, rhyming with eating. Grating, it's grating. Go here. Hello and welcome to Wilken Vegan, the channel or, I don't know, the account. Yes, the account where I cook vegan food. Today I will be making vegan meatballs and I will be making it from this. Wait. Oh, damn it. This is a great view. This latest issue of Vegan Magazine, and the, we are making meatballs, uh, and it's based on sort of sunflower seeds. So we're going to start by chopping one onion, and we're going to do it by using my this big great chopper I bought second hand, and washed. So chopping done, let's get a big bowl and put the chopped onion in it, like so. And to this, we will add one deciliter of breadcrumbs. We'll also be adding one deciliter of vegan cream, and I'm using Oatly. One tablespoon of Japanese soy sauce, which is... Japanese soy sauce is a lighter soy sauce, or this I've learned. The Chinese soy sauce is darker and more sweet. And then you add half a tablespoon of bouillon. I did that, but this clip was really weird. And people, we are going to add three deciliters of sunflower seeds into a mixer and really sort of, or a food processor, and really sort of grind them into nothingness. Okay, people, let her rip. People, it looks like that. And into this, we add one rinsed can of chickpeas and we let rip again. So people, this is rather hard to sort of work. So I will be adding this to this and hopefully it'll go easier. Yes, it worked. Now I'm going to put this in the bowl and then I will add salt, pepper and cornstarch. I think the cornstarch, it's what keeps it together. Keep it together. Okay, people, so you add one tablespoon of cornstarch and then you mix. And I think the easiest way to mix is by using chopsticks. Okay, so I bought this in a secondhand shop and I think this is a meatball maker. I'm not sure, but I will try it and see if it works. 
And yes, people, it does. Well, at least once. Well, they don't look fantastic, but hopefully they taste fantastic. And that thing I used, that contraption, was really great. People, I think the potatoes are steamed. So let's make mashed potatoes and I'm going to use that vegan cream. Oh my God. Yes, I'm on a diet. Is it working? No. And now some vegan butter and you say, what diet? So people, it's time for a taste test. Mmm, really good. Sort of a, something in between a meatball and a falafel. Mmm, good. Of course, people, when you have done such advanced cooking, there is a hell of a lot to wash up. So, um, yeah, I'm washing up. Well, tonight at seven o'clock, which is one o'clock in the Americas, I guess, I'm going live with the Great Prohibition co Cocktail Countdown for the very last time. Episode number 10, we are doing something called The Corpse Reviver, which is sort of... It started out as a remedy for hangover. It seems like the only way to get over a hangover is to get really, really drunk. Okay, people, so this happened. I just talked to my friend Ulf and he asked, what, what, what are you doing tonight or this evening? And I said, well, I have to sort of, I'd like to do something, but I have to do this, the final episode. And then we decided I will go home to his place which is very fitting because I will be doing the last episode and we will both be having the last drink, the last corpse, no, the last cocktail, Prohibition Cocktail Countdown. Fantastic. So now all I need to do is bring everything to his place. Yeah. Well, today I'm wearing my lovely T-shirt from Bill Tema, that store where Ulf and I went to two days ago. It's, these are fantastic, iconic. I'm absolutely mad about them. Anyway, I'm preparing for the last of the episodes. Big a prohibition cocktail countdown. It doesn't really chop off your tongue, does it? What do you say? This is what I'm bringing to Ulf. Yeah. He has stuff at home, but I think it's, it's a little bit rude showing up, doing a live show and sort of ask him, do you have any absinthe or gin or Cointreau? So hopefully this will be a good show. Join us in, yeah, one hour and a quarter. How much is that? 75 minutes, is it? Yes. Okay, people, all of this just to make two drinks, but just get my keys because Ulf won't be home and I need to set up first. So join me, seven o'clock, live. So people, it's astounding how quickly summer's over. And I mean, it's not really over, but the sun is getting really low and oh, it's only six o'clock and you sort of, you can feel it getting colder. Now you can feel that the sun is setting, but a month ago, night never came. Oh. And I've been doing lots of stuff, but I also feel that this, somehow, this summer, it sort of passed me by. I don't know how. Of course, I know Corona and all that, the sort of like, but I can't remember last summer being sort of this sense of sadness that it's over. I think this sudden drop in temperature has something to do with it because last year it was really hot all of August, I think. I remember us swimming and now it's sort of like, is it too late for a swim? I think so. So up there is where I will be mixing drinkies today. Hello? No, he's not home yet. So there is some stuff I'm setting up. I had a thermos with ice in. I put it in his fridge and uh, I am like a cater person. Catering person? I'm like a bar. Movable bar. There's a better word for movable, but I can't. What is it? 
What's that word? So, wouldn't you know it, I forgot to bring my lemon squeezer. So, uh, I'm looking through his stuff. He's got this great big one where you sort of can... <coughs> but I thought he'd have a small one. I thought he'd had a small one. <laughs> Such a phrase maker. Where the fuck do they keep this stuff? Okay, people, how does this look? That's where I put the camera or my phone. Here are the glasses. Just... All we need is ice and a fucking lemon squeezer. Yes, people, I said fucking. I found this big one. Here we go. Look at this lovely view. Oh, look at that seagull. I've lost it. There it is. Can you see it? Oh, God. I wish I could fly. Mm -hmm. Do you sometimes get a smell that sort of lingers and it must get sort of like gotten trapped up your nostrils or something? Because earlier today I smelt... <coughs> Sorry. Be right back. So earlier today I smelt a Swedish sort of I don't know what to call it. It's a liqueur called punch and it's sort of very sweet and you sort of drink it at midsummers and well, no one really drinks it now. It's quite good and I think I, I want to invent a, a cocktail using it. Uh, but anyway, so, I, so sort of I just smelled it and sort of that scent lingers on. By the way, Ulf texted me that he was really tired before when he texted me. So hopefully this will put some pep into his step. What doesn't kill him, make him stronger. Or kill him. Yeah. People, I found it. It was in a dishwasher. I thought this was something different altogether. No, only kidding. <laughs> but I think I will be using that one. I am live, damn it. And I'm not where I usually am. I'm somewhere else. Hello, people, and welcome to the last episode of the big people we are we've been live Ulf is here and he's he was feeling tired and then he drank that much of the drink and now he's up cleaning f doing stuff calisthenics and stuff is Ulf is pruning his what pepper plant and the pepper seems to not be doing great well, so they were but someone was supposed to pick them what was that me? Yes. Oh. I wrote it to you. Pick and eat the peppers. Yes, thank you, you answered. I thought that was sort of just you being genteel. You, you, you forgot. I think and Ulf thinks he's a gardener. He's sort of, now he's, I don't know what he's doing. Pruning, I guess. Are you pruning? Pruning this to death. He's, he's killing it. I will now Google the Saint of Gardeners. Here's the name of the Saint of Gardeners and Ulf asked me to find the Saint of Cleaners as well. People, if you really want to make him sort of, just, just give him a cocktail, he'll turn into Saint Sita, patron saint of household chores. I think we found the answer to how to make Ulf manage more and have more energy <laughs> it's just a cocktail when you get home from work here he is cleaning like there's no tomorrow yes he's cleaning now Here's an update, people. Ulf just told me he's going to have a fashion show because he ordered some stuff online and he will be showing us what it is. Stay tuned. <laughs> Go. I have ordered stuff from a site uh, because I couldn't sleep and it was 80% off and before 12 o'clock it was 15% more. Suddenly yesterday I got a message that I have a package to collect and I didn't know what's that package so I went down and I got a sack. So now you're going to show us? Now I'm going to show you what I ordered. Do you know what you ordered? I know what I got. But not what you ordered? Not sort of. 
So, do you sort of remember anything you ordered? It was kind of in the jacket region. Oh, so a lot of jackets then? Yeah. Yep. Do you like your drink? drink? Yes. Corporal Revival is the best. Corp. Corpse. Corpse Revival. Not corporate. The corporate revival is the best. <laughs> Wolf is now starting with his sort of fashion show. I'm, I'm just sitting here and you just... Oh, should I come? No. No, no. He'll open and he'll come out. You just yell. Oh. Jacket? Okay, here he is. <laughs> and this is a jeans jacket from We Are The Superlative Conspiracy. I didn't know they existed. Yes, they are. Or maybe it's... No, it's from White Red. <laughs> Sorry. Here's... Oh my... God, it's winter in this... Kind of a sports coat from... Philippa uh, K. Yeah? With a hoodie. Philippa K, and you need a smaller size? It's kind of big. Well, you can have some sweaters under it. Yeah, like a shoplift. Yes! Oh my god, people, it just keeps happening here. Next thing is almost the same. This is kind of a, like a sleeping bag, but a jacket. Yes. From Fat Moose. Oh, Fat Moose, is it? Yeah. Oh, look, looking good. This shouldn't be like a, a caterpillar. Caterpillar? This could have been a size bigger. Okay. So now we're into sweaters. Ulf is, well, he's taking off his clothes. I, I'm not filming you. Well, <laughs> oh, that's a nice simple one. Silk sweater. Yeah, look, it's silk. Uh, silk cotton, something. Silk cotton. Mm. That's really great with your eyes. Yeah, they turn green. People, this, all these four items, were the four items? Uh, yes. They would have been how much? 9,700. And you paid what? 1,700. 1,700 people. So he's making money hand over fist. Like so somehow Ulf calculated this to sort of, he made 8,000. Of course. Yes. I, I would be so proud if I were you. You really, um, yeah. Here's a scoop for you. Apparently, there's a bow tie as well. <gasps> what made you buy that one? It was orange. Oh. And very cheap. Okay. Well, I just got a compliment. Ulf said, this suits me. No, you just, no, you didn't say it suited me. You said it was... Yes, I said a very good color on you. It's very good color on me. Yes. So, yes. <laughs> what? Say it again. Hot dogs is a very difficult colour. <laughs> Ulf is now on his first corpse revival and we are having chips and grappa. Look at that thing, Nick. So people, we are now drinking grappa. Up yours. Up yours. Mmm. Lovely. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's some serious drink mixing going on. Ulf is on his third cocktail. I'm on my second. People, we've been sitting here talking for hours and hours and hours, and it's now 10 to 12. So I need to be going home. And this is Ulf after two, three cocktails. Just three. Say after me, please. Slightly inebriated. Leg off. <laughs> and tomorrow I'll be at work at seven o'clock. Seven o'clock, that's madness. Yeah. <laughs> People, we, we, we have had a fantastic evening. All the things I said before about summers being over, I don't care. I don't care. Bring on autumn. I don't care. Let's go buy alcoholical things.
so people I've found it. He has not been looking very sort of thoroughly. So I found it, David. I found it. And it's somewhere behind me. Previously on my IGTV channel. So I'm kind of myth. And he just says, don't you know? Oh, in my head he's French. He wasn't French, but he is now. Don't you know the show is cancelled tonight? Someone Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.